Bitcoin is down more than 10% right now and Crow isn't doing much better because right now Crow is retesting the 50 week moving average. And to make matters even worse, the Crow Bitcoin pair is at an all time low. Overall, more than enough reasons to be bearish, but is it really that bad? Well guys, I would say let's strap in and let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the one and only Coin Baron. And last week we closed our weekly live stream with this little clip over here. So let me show okay, you. One final take, guys. The Crow price is not doing great. This will be a bad, a really, really bad week for Kronos. So next week we will start with, yeah, I think some downturn. Honest answer there, honest answer. And well, looking at the charts, that's exactly what played out here. And I didn't want to show you this clip because I claim to know everything. And especially on YouTube, no one will know an exact price prediction, but we can try to navigate the market based on trends and probability. When zooming in on the chart, we do see some trends appearing. And mainly over here, of course, we do see a downtrend. But the real question is, when will this downtrend stop? And personally, guys, I had quite a high conviction that we would see a trend reversal near the 12 cent level over here. And I had multiple reasons for that. But mainly, of course, because we do see multiple support and rejections at the 12 cent level. So personally, I had quite the high conviction over there, especially because also Bitcoin was going up. So the probabilities were, I think, in my favor of saying, hey, we will get a reversal near 12 cents. Unfortunately, that did not play out. So I was wrong, of course. And I had to admit that when we had a weekly close below the 12 cent level. And that meant I had to look for a new price structure. To determine this new price structure, I had a look at this candle over here, this candle over here, and also this candle over here that all show you basically no support or resistance. And therefore my base case was also that we were trending down. And guys, you see, we did. The important question of course is how low will we go? And I think that's the harder question that pretty much no one can really answer. I could say that this might be a potential support line, guys, at the 50 week moving average. But I could see also maybe like a scam wick, like over here, that sends us down to $8 cent. So these are scenarios which I take into consideration. But what I also would like to show you guys is that this is not new. This is definitely not new. We have seen this over here as well. And the unfortunate thing is, this can take very, very, very long. Over here, we see 11 bar, so 11 weeks that we trade in this new price structure. So this could play out again like that. And if that's the case, if that's the case for like 11 weeks, we are still trading in this range until the end of the summer. Of course, history never fully repeats, but it does often rhyme. And honestly, with this summer law in mind, would this make sense? To me, it would make total sense. So this definitely is a scenario which I take into consideration right now. That we might be doing for some chop in the altcoin market is also more visible over here in the crypto total market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. So total free over here. And I just want to show you guys, this was the last halving event and this was the halving in 2020. And there, this is basically where we were in the previous, uh, previous cycle. We were down a lot. We were down considerably from the previous all time high for this total free. So over here, 80%. Currently though, we are definitely not that low. We are not that low. And of course we are maturing as a market, but right now guys, we're only down 40%, only down 40%. So it might seem that we have front run. We have definitely front run this bull cycle already a little. And even Bitcoin is looking a bit indecisive right now because we're still stuck in between this range of this previous all time high and about 56,000 US dollars over here. We do see we can draw a nice trend line over here and we test and retest and retest, but we can't really break it. We can't really break it. And this pattern over here, it's neither bullish nor bearish. It can really go both ways. It can really go both ways. And then our target, our target will be this over here. According to technical analysis, that will be our target. 
So it could be bullish or it could be bearish. For the bull case, for the bull case, our next target will be around 100k. For the bear case, for the bear case, that will be going back to 40k. That will be going back to 40k. My probabilities, guys, are saying that going back to 40k is really unlikely. So that's why I think the bull case is more likely. But as you see, this pattern, this triangle, it still has some time to play out. In the end, this is also going to break out probably around August, end of the summer. So again, in line what we saw with the crow patterns over here. I even want to double down on that bullish sentiment because if we take a look at the bigger picture, guys, if we take a look at the bigger picture, I've seen this chart over here pop up some more on X as well. And we do see we have smart money, so the real early people buying Bitcoin like 16K, 20K. We have the institutional investors, people that came in that bought the Bitcoin ETF at 40K. And then it's time for retail. But before we go from institutional to public to retail, we do have that bear trap. We do have that bear trap. That is really what we always tend to see. So this, guys, what do you think? Might this be the bear trap we are experiencing right now? Overall, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think much has really changed. Long term, I am still bullish, and I think right now we might feel some more bearish sentiment because of that bear trap. But we also might be experiencing a bit more chop because we kind of front run the bull run. Having said that, I do think that the recent all-time low for Crow Bitcoin is a complete separate story. And I think that's a bit more bearish, actually. But that does deserve a complete separate analysis. So guys, I do say, if you like that kind of content, do, of course, like the button, but also stay subscribed because I will be posting that video coming soon. Anyways, guys, that's me. I'm the Coin Baron, and I will see you in the next video. Till then.